And Storm Team 4 now, a perfect night to get out and enjoy a festival, right, Brian? Yeah, it feels good outside, doesn't it, it does. Katie? It does, it does. We got rid of all that really nasty humidity we had for a few weeks, and uh, again, the temperatures are comfortable as well. As you mentioned, German Fest going on uh, downtown or close to it along the lakeshore. Here's my friends. Cheers. All right, uh, your forecast for today, uh, 76 degrees by 6 p.m. By 7 o'clock, 74. By 8 o'clock, 70 degrees. By 9 o'clock, 66. So if you are headed out on the town, especially away from Lake Michigan, you're going to want to wear a light jacket. It's going to get on the cool side tonight. All right, this is a live look in Racine, downtown Racine. Current temperature 74 degrees. By the way, the Racine County Fair in Union Grove this weekend as well. Uh, dew point at 57, really comfy out there. Southeast wind at 7 miles per hour in Milwaukee. Again, we're at 74. That east southeast wind at 10 miles per hour. So a little bit of a breeze. All right, across the area, almost everybody in the 70s. Port Washington, a little bit cooler at 69, 74 in Sheboygan and 77 in Washington. Watertown. And the dew points again for the most part in the 50s. Couple spots, including right here in Milwaukee, at 61. So just a little notch up on the humidity from where we were yesterday. Your dew point cast uh, will pretty much remain where we are now. Lower 60s peaking out each day here Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So just a little bit of humidity, but not bad at all. Weather headlines cool inland tonight. We could see temperatures dip well into the 50s tonight along the lake, probably more like 60 for a low. Most of us will be nice again on Sunday, but Sunday is going to be very similar to the last couple days where in the afternoon and evening we do get a couple showers to pop up. Very hit and miss stuff and pop up showers in the forecast for the next couple of days. We are seeing some showers out there this afternoon across our northern spots. Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties seeing a couple light showers that are drifting through from the northwest to the southeast. Locations near Plymouth, south of there down towards Sherman, and also affecting northern Ozaki and Washington counties. Now, these showers extend all the way back towards Stevens Point and Wausau, in fact, even across northwestern Wisconsin. But I think as we start to lose the daytime heating, the sun sets, rain chances come to an end. Future forecasts showing all shower activity diminishing by 930 and I really think locations from Milwaukee and south are going to stay completely dry as we head into tomorrow at 3 a.m. Again, we're looking at uh, tomorrow morning, mainly clear skies at 830 again, lots of sunshine, but watch what happens in the afternoon again. This is 330 couple showers popping up again. This is hit and miss. I think maybe 10% of the area sees a brief shower where most of us stay dry. And then by Monday morning, 5 a.m., clouds start to increase, and it looks like a better chance of some showers. Maybe a few thunderstorms roll in here on Monday. All right, your forecast for tonight. Low temperature falling down to 60 degrees near the lake. Inland, 54. Windows open tonight. All right, for tomorrow, 77, partly cloudy. Slight chance of showers for tomorrow. And here's your seven day forecast. Uh, again, another isolated shower possible on Monday. However, you saw the computer model run. That chance is looking a little bit better, especially south of Milwaukee. 76 on Tuesday, up to 80 on Wednesday. Some scattered showers and storms on Wednesday. Scattered showers and storms on Thursday, 70. Friday, 81 degrees. And it looks like a pretty good chance for storms next weekend on Saturday as we start to warm back up. There we go, back into the 80s, Katie.